am so stressed and so thoroughly entertained at the same time. <laughs> Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my reaction to the season two finale of Invincible, which is called I Thought You Were Stronger. And let's get watching. <laughs> Is this a prison break? It seems you've passed inspection. Finally fit for your execution. What? Congratulations. You got this, Taylor. Keep this up. You do got this, Taylor. You can do it. You'll feel... Mm. You'll feel... Yeah, there we go. Like a million bucks. <laughs> when we met before, you hadn't done this to me. Oh, God. You're that guy. That guy? Oh, he doesn't like that. You did this! I was gonna save the world. All of them! I was but a hatchling when I last tasted their succulent flesh. Yo. Ooh, I want to taste. At least you didn't send him to the walking dead land. As long as I don't determine that the only way to hurt you is to hurt them. So do them a favor and die. Oliver! No! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kirkland brand Spider-Verse right now? Are you trying to hurt this old man? <laughs> Look, I saw the portal. I know you're from another dimension. Got way too much experience with that, especially lately. So, uh, <laughs> trust me, I'm the good guy here. Daddy, I miss mommy. Me too, man. <gasps> oh, poor Angstrom. <laughs> you actually thought you could hide from me? I'll tell you what. I'll kill the boy quickly. No! with that <sighs> Oh, did I speak too soon about the walking dead? Neat. Stop. This is so fun. Fly, fly, fly away. On all my research, I didn't learn how long his kind can go without food. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Your family's legacy is blood. Who? No. Not me. I raised the boy who defied his father and saved this planet. That's right, honey. Let him know. And he is no killer. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? You turned out rotten here, and Mark is the hero for once. <sighs> you don't know anything! <laughs> I'm trying to save the world! Your son is the monster! I'm going to make your son hurt. I'm gonna make you he opens another portal as soon as I come out with no gap in between them. So it's just a tunnel to somewhere else. And in some dimensions, time is all weird too. So I don't even know how long it's been. Oh my God. You're a man who dresses like a bat. <laughs> and your name is, well, 
You know, I mean, like, don't you think that's kind of lazy? I am so stressed and so thoroughly entertained at the same time. This is over! Mark. Mom. I thought you were... I thought you were stronger. Jesus Christ, what happened? Oh, Cecil, where's Mark? I don't know, but let's, let's get you somewhere safe first. I had to. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill him. He tried to kill me. He was going to kill my mom and my brother. He told me he was stronger! I wanted to kill him, but I didn't know if I could. I wasn't sure if he was saying that I thought you were stronger to Angstrom or if it was kind of a question of himself. I thought your willpower was strong enough not to kill someone. And it continues! He must be whole and intact. Worthy to stand and face the end of his life at full strength. Move, scum! Hey, just cut me some slack. Jeez. Holy crap. My plan worked. I'm here for you. Talk soon. I just, everything Alan does, I love him so much. Maybe his body could somehow still. Huh? The squad. Oh, oh. You look terrible. The world we come from, the world where you've been missing all these years, it's not good. We've already said too much. I don't know if I would have survived here. You did, but you wouldn't like what you had become. I love you, Mark. I have for a very long time, and when you disappeared, I was devastated. Eve, I... No, don't tell me. Tell her. Tell her you love her. Okay, well, Or tell her you don't love her. Just tell her something. Given time, he just broke up with Amber. Is it... Is it over? <gasps> oh, Mark. I care for you. So I wanted to fix your problem. I'm sorry if, along the way, I became a problem myself. As apologies go, I... That's not a bad one. You Aww. want me to talk about other stuff as well? Yeah, you weirdo. Like, maybe <laughs> ask me on another date sometime. Cute! That is the wholesome content I needed in the middle of this shit show. Immortal? <gasps> I'm sorry I never told you. Kate. I never told anyone and lived through a copy. Just in case. <laughs> no way. His girl's back. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner. It's okay. No. Everything's okay. You guys, yay! <laughs> Happy things. <sighs> no, we we do not need to do this again. Wait, you're both female. 
and stop it. I'm strong enough, and I can do this. It's all I ever wanted for as long as I can remember. You'll live to see this world crumble to dust and blow away. Everyone and everything you know will be gone. Oh, I thought he was going to say the I'd still have you, Dad. I'd still have you. <laughs> With everything I can do, tell me why I need to go to college. <sighs> college does a lot more than just prepare you for a job. Mark? I can't. I just can't. If you ever need a shoulder, I, I've got two. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know. don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. Come on, after credit scene. What you got? What you got for us? They're gonna execute you, bro. They are, yes. Most people would be more worried about that. <gasps> I'm not a Viltrumite anymore. I see the suffering of lesser beings and upsets me deeply you say that like it's a bad thing <laughs> what i did on earth i deserve death oh god <laughs> and yet i miss my wife <sighs> yeah no shit sherlock best thing that ever happened to you wow what a uh, finale. Episode seven and this episode, without a doubt, the strongest episodes of this season, at least for me. I was hooked the entire time. My absolute favorite moment was right after Mark had killed Angstrom and he said, I thought you were stronger. I loved the ambiguity and the double meaning behind that line. I thought it was so effective. Another moment that really struck me was when Debbie walked back into her house after it had been restored and it was the same, but completely different. Meaning everything in the room was set up exactly the way that it had been before down to the pillows on the couch but what had happened there changed the way she felt in that room and in that home completely another moment i really appreciated was when mark was flying through the air having flashbacks and thinking about everything that he had been through and he has this moment where he's free falling through the sky and the action there really matched his emotion he was free falling emotionally and physically and i just thought that was another really smart choice even though i was in full-on panic mode for debbie and all Oliver during Angstrom's break-in, I have to admit all the different dimensions that Mark got sent to through Angstrom's portals was so cool. So much fun. We got the Spider-Verse, we got the Walking Dead, we got Gotham City, Mad Max, and I know there were others in there too that I just didn't recognize. I just had a great time watching that and I do think it helped me get through that first part of the episode because otherwise it was a really rough couple of scenes to get through emotionally. Debbie getting her arm broken, Angstrom throwing Oliver around like he's a sack of potatoes, and then Angstrom's death was also particularly difficult to watch. Shout out to the sound editing in this show because honestly, it's hard enough to watch it, but the sound is always what really does me in on those scenes. And then I just felt so sorry for Mark during the fallout of all of this too. I mean, my God, where we left him at the end of season one, he was having a hard enough time. And now I feel like he's still processing that and has all of these other terrible things that have happened to him on top of that. Like Eve was saying, he just 
doesn't deserve all of this. And Mark dropping out of school, I think shows that he understands what we've come to understand as an audience, which is that Mark is never going to have a life of normalcy, no matter how much he wants it or how much we want it for him. Okay. I have to say, as much as I ship even Mark, you all know this, I talk about it at least once an episode, older Eve needs to take several seats. That was not the time or place to insert your romantic agenda. I get that heartbreak can feel devastating. I'm sure whatever older Eve's lived experience was, she felt like she needed to say something in that moment, but unrequited love, dealing with the fact that you just murdered someone, one of those things feels like it has a little more gravity than the other and I don't know I'm I'm a little fired up about it but let me know how you feel about it in the comments I just read the room girl read the room or read the desolate desert landscape but now that I got my little rant out of the way I did think that the scene at the end between Mark and Eve was very cute the like barely touching fingers. Clearly they both have feelings for each other, but Mark is just, he's just dealing with a lot. It's so much. And his breakup with Amber is fresh. So if we are gonna see an Eve and Mark romance arc eventually, I think it's gonna be a second. That being said, that scene did make me very excited for some possible romantic tension between Eve and Mark in season three. And last, but certainly not least, Alan and Nolan working together against the Viltrumites. Oh, and all of a sudden, he misses his wife. How convenient for you. I will say I feel a lot more empathy towards Nolan than I did at the beginning of this season. After seeing his actions and hearing some of his thought processes, I do believe that he's having a genuine change of heart. And if anyone could give you a crash course in likability, it would be Alan. Stick with Alan, kid. You'll do great things. Before I wrap this review up, I will say I was just thinking about Invincible, thinking about seasons one and two the other day. And I think what I loved so much about season one is that it felt more like a mystery show or a thriller show than it did a superhero show because we had that burning question the whole time of why Omni-Man did what he did and who he is really. But I think in season two, we have gotten some really incredible character development. And I'm impressed with how deep we've been able to go with as many characters as we have in only eight episodes. I feel like I know Alan so much better, Don Donald so much better, Rudy and Amanda. And I think as I'm falling more in love with these characters, it makes some of these action scenes hit, no pun intended, because I really care for them now and I don't want anything to happen to them, which I already know that they're gonna play on that in season three. Although I guess this episode showed that anyone can come back if they really want to, Kate. So we don't need to be too worried. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.